Hello, hello. So, the video cut off. I started the video again and then I made a major boo-boo. I cut a piece of fabric um, from the gorgeous fabric I got from Kerry. And um, I cut it the same size as the card that I cut. So, I stopped the video. <laughs> I have shown you my mistake, but I've since cut another piece of card and I've actually had another thought. So I'm now going to cut this the right size. I'm not going to cut it with the enveloping because the last thing I want to do is cut that. Um, I got this gorgeous lace from Marsha and I think this would make a beautiful spine. Seems I'm going for kind of shabby. So I'm going to go for this instead of the satin. I just think it works really well. Um, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, I think, to maybe sew this and and stick it correctly. Um, I think I am going to have to do a bit of gluing. Um, and then obviously get told off for putting that through my sewing machine. But, you know, when the damage is done anyway, I don't always sew through glue. I try not to, but it can't be helped sometimes. <laughs> just can't be helped so yeah I, I just thought in this video is going to be long enough I didn't want to leave five minutes of me making a spine in when I did it wrong but I did want to show you that I'd forgotten it was too short and I needed to make the fabric longer so I think I might still do a little bit of ink on this I know it's a gorgeous colour but a little bit of ink never hurt anybody did it well, not that I know of. Hasn't hurt me yet, and most things have. Oh, what's that? Let me just get this off my desk because it's a bit rally. That's better. There we go. Looks even more vintage now. Right. What I do want to do is give that center spine, a really good inking, the crease, get that good going over. So yeah, um, what I think I'm going to do, I'm not sure if it was this video, I've already said it, or the video where I messed up that, um, I think I'm going to film this all, but maybe load two, two, two bits today, and then two bits tomorrow because I'd imagine this is going to be a bit of a long one and what I could then do oh there's just not enough hours in the day I would like to um, put the video together the software for my did I? Yeah. the software just takes so long it's absolutely crazy long for me to um, for me to put two videos together and I just don't have the resources at the moment to um, get something else to film on it has you know it's gonna be my camera unfortunately my phone takes it's you know my phone's less I can only do 15 minutes on my phone um, it's a lot quicker to upload I just glued that upside down um, yeah, it's a lot quicker to upload from my phone, a lot, lot quicker, um, but the quality is, is not as good and I can only do 15 minutes. So it has to be, unfortunately, it has to be my, my camera. But then 29 minutes is not very long either, is it? So... I'm kind of happy, this is exactly what I was hoping for that's going to go there I have glued that upside down haven't I? oh I have oh I've glued the lace upside down I don't believe it it's really hard to tell actually no I haven't no I haven't no I haven't I haven't glued it upside down I've got to glue it back down Oh, my days. 
bit flustered it's because it's going to be too long okay so that's probably going to end up doing sewing either off camera now or in the next video aren't I can't see this all getting done right I just wish there was a pause button that would be brilliant wouldn't it I could just pause while I do all the ink in and then you won't have to watch that stuff and and then I could finish I, I'm gonna I'm I can kind of envisage how this is gonna look I'm liking it I am liking it but obviously this whole envelope needs a bit of inking doesn't it the other thing I've noticed is these blending sponges don't last as long on the square ones as they do on the round ones um, having said that it's possibly because I probably did a month's worth of inking in eight days when I made the burn bird journals because I did everything in shifts I made you know I cut all of the tags together and then I inked all the tags together and then I collaged all the tags and then I sewed all the tags so I did them in shifts rather than do them one journal at a time I did you know I did it as a production line okay is that going to be I think that's inked enough And thank you for all the tips about the glycerin and thing. I don't have any glycerin and I certainly don't have any of the Tim Holtz refresher. I have the re-ink, the re-inking, which I have already done. Oh, I have to glue that a little bit. Um, which I have already done. It just seems that the pad is so... I mean, they're hard anyway, aren't they, these Tim Holtz pads? They're not a soft ink pad, but, you know, it just seemed... Um, just seemed really it seems really hard but you know you know what hard means <laughs> so um there's something else I was going to say uh, that's enough maybe I have to do the inside oh I'm sorry I said I wasn't going to say sorry but I am I am so much inking. Um, what can I make that doesn't need to be inked? Has anybody got any suggestions or ideas? If you've got any, I, I didn't have to ink my desk. Maybe I should have filmed me putting my desk together. It's still not. It's still not attached to anything. It's still just balanced. So um, I'm thankful every day when I come down in the morning and it's still standing. And also whenever I do anything on my desk which is pretty much all day every day it's taken a bit of a, a battering already so I must have done a reasonable job of putting it together right so that is all now inked um, I'm just wondering whether to lightly glue this in place before I decorate the only problem with that is I might have stuff hanging over hanging over the edge and I'm gonna have to sew this and glue it on because I'm I can sew round here which I intend to do but if I sew round this I'm gonna sew the pocket shut possibly let me feel yeah, it's kind of very close to that edge. So, I don't want to sew the pocket shut. So, I'm going to... Shall I get the sewing machine out? Let's see how this goes. Okay. Right. Sewing machine. I'm sorry while I move everything about. So gonna have to double check that I'm in view. I'm just plug it in. Uh, 
let's have a look. I think you'll be able to see what I'm doing, won't you? From there. Let's turn it on. I think I'm just going to have to try. I don't think there's any way of knowing without just giving it a try. I just need to move the foot pedal. Okay, and I'm doing this in flip flops too, so this might not, this might be a bit of a disaster. Okay, um, should I go zigzag on the outside? Let me think. So I'm going to sew all the way round. I've got room for zigzag stitch because this is going to be inside. I'm going to go for zigzag stitch. I'll change it to about 2.5. And I want to start on the back. This is fairly thin. So what I'm doing is, um, how do I? Yeah, I'm going to use, I'm, the, I'm going to just use one of the guidelines. I'm going to go as quickly as I can and I hope this is not too noisy. Something else Wendy and Gail are very good at, being all prepared and set up. Okay. It's really hard, I'm not sure if you can hear me talking or not. My sewing machine seems to be exceptionally noisy and I can guarantee you I'm going to run out of thread. I only have four bobbins. So I have to... One of them is always kind of... Um, this neutral colour. One of them is always white, one of them is always black. I don't know why I have one with white on because I never ever seem to use white cotton. Um, but one of them is set up with white. But the bobbin, two of them are genuine bobbins, two of them are not. I think this is probably a not a genuine bobbin because you can hear it, it just kind of like bounces around in the case. And the other thing, I've noticed Wendy and Gail both backstitch using zigzag stitch. Now my machine, um, the, the, the backstitch does not seem to work on the zigzag. Now I always assumed that was because I didn't need to backstitch on a zigzag. However, um, I've noticed Wendy and Gail can both do that, so I don't know whether I'm just using my sewing machine wrong um, but there's a little arrow that goes like that which is the back stitch and it just doesn't work, it works on the straight stitch but it doesn't work on I think I'm going to stitch down here I'm glad I didn't put that away and it's it's holding, it's holding up it's not fallen down yet, my desk so that's good news, very good news so I'm just going to stitch down here This is more for the inside rather than the outside because, um, ah, has that just run out? Yeah, empty bobbin. Marvellous. You're not going to want to sit and watch me load my bobbin, are you? I'm going to turn that off. That's the back too, would you believe? Although having said that, you cannot actually see the stitching very well on that fabric so this side is glued with the strip of um, from the envelope so I'm going to leave that now that just leaves some sewing on here um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to leave it here for today I'm going to re-thread my bobbin and then carry on sewing I may upload this video um, both parts today and I may upload the third part we'll just see how far I get but for now <laughs> thank you for watching yet another disastrous video um, I'm quite happy with this though it's quite nice 
I will, as Arnold Schwarzenegger says, we'll be back.